Welcome to the terrific terrain of the Pauper Gauntlet. We're in round three. It's single elimination in the tournament practice room. Glass Cannon Red is up. And it has performed the best of any deck. Winning quickly every time. But can it do so in the tournament practice room? Where is it? Red Glass Cannon. This is the definition of a deck that should not go far in the Pauper Gauntlet. Because it's a glass cannon and the Pauper Gauntlet rewards stability. But let's try to win on turn two. Uka Maoka shows up to suffer the attack of the glass cannon I do want to play first. Wow, for the first time I get a bad hand. <laughs> I can try to loot into something. I do have the man, I'm gonna keep this. And loot. Probe. Goblins. Perfect. I didn't quite catch that. Let's look at it again. Lots of goblins. Fire blast. Oh, not fire blast. Uh, faithless looting. We definitely don't need three mountains. But now we have a real problem. I'm discarding right of flame and a mountain. And I might have to hard cast the spirit guide. Maybe I should have thrown away a double cleave instead. That must be uh, really good for goblins when you There is the Soul Eater and a Tainted Strike. We have the Double Cleave, the Fire Blast. So we discard Double Cleave. Do we discard the Fire Blast? He didn't have removal. So we might need the Fire Blast to get through. I want all of these cards, but I am done discarding. I want to play the Soul Eater now. But I need the mountain. No, I'm discarding that. I'm playing the Soul Eater next turn. How the hell am I supposed to cast the Tainted Strike? And I don't have too many life points to give to the Soul Eater. But I don't need that many if I do the Tainted Strike. But I need to randomly find a Black Mana. Is Kilfain more reliable? I'll get him to 7 double strike kill. Let's try that. He is lethal with the Tainted Strike. Glad he threw, threw away his Chain Lightning. Bushwalker. Hopefully he attacks with everything. Maybe he has a bolt. Well, I'm not blocking. A 
And now I need to draw black mana to win. <sighs> Fire Blast, Assault Strobe, that's just 7. 14. It's not enough. And I'm gonna have to go defensive now. And that's of course something I do very poorly. So I guess we are dead. Fire Blast, Assault Strobe. Yeah, it's only 14 damage. I should have discarded the Tainted Strike. That was my mistake. And you have no rooms for mistakes in this deck. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Glass Cannon Red has its first loss. Will it be a second? A sideboard. You cannot keep a hand that does nothing. Yeah. No sideboard. So let's try to win quickly. Much quicker than goblins. Let's do it. But this is another hand that does nothing. Wow, kill fiend turn one and then nothing. This does not work either. It would have worked with the soul eater, but it doesn't work with this. I can cast the kill fiend and nothing happens. And now I can't cast the soul eater. Okay, oh well. I guess we glass cannon, didn't we? And he has a lightning bolt. This is the way the cookie crumbles. Just one land here, we can cast the soul eater, but then what? And Foundry Street Denison will make it, the Gitaxian probes make it so that we can't kill him. But we don't find anything. And we are doomed. Not surprisingly. Yeah, we have no time to dawdle around against goblins. Tainted Strike felt really hard to cast. So we have a Lotus Petal. Cast Soul Eater. But he just has a bolt for it, so... What's the use of that? He must make some terrible mistake and we must find uh, two mana in one round. And uh, he must forget his lightning bolt. Mog fanatic. That's an unconventional choice for goblins, but you know what? We're dying here. Titan strength. And fire blast. Shoes blockers. Is that a yoke? Aha! Mountain. I feel lightly embarrassed. Conscripts. 
I don't think I'm gonna survive this. <laughs> yeah. So, glass cannon red leaves us. The way it came, with a bang, or with a whimper. And Glass Cannon Red has been eliminated from the Pauper Gauntlet. It had a fantastic run. But now it's over. Thank you for watching.